Hi everyone, you're Stampin' with Vanessa Webb, Stampin' Up! Demonstrate Australia today. I have a really cute and clever card to show you today. It is a magic slider card and we're using the amazing jar of flower suite, uh, the stamps and uh, there is actually a matching jar punch which I won't be showing you today but just so that you're aware you can purchase the jar of flowers photopolymer stamp set with the matching jar punch at 10% off. So today we're concentrating on the stamps and um, as, as I said creating this magic slider card. So let me show you how I put it together. So you're going to need a sheet, a piece of cardstock that uh, is 21 centimeters by 21 centimeters and those of you who are stamping me in stamping with me in Australia will already have uh, the dimensions of the 21 centimeters on their A4 cardstock, uh, and uh, we're going to grab our stamp and trimmer, and we're actually going to be doing some uh, score lines along uh, along vertically as well as horizontally on the 12 the 21 by 21 centimeter. So the first score lines we're going to do are going to be six and three quarter centimeters from the edge of the cardstock. So I've taken my edge up to there, so six and three quarter centimeters, and then I'm going to flip it around 180 degrees and do the same on the other side. So taking it to six and three quarters, make sure that you're using your scoring your scoring blade rather than your cutting blade. To keep that well out of the way and then we're going to swing it round 90 degrees and we're going to mark the halfway point with a score line as well so that's at 10 and a half centimeters okay so that's all our scoring done and now we're going to trim off some uh, sections so if you've got your your score line your vertical score line and your two horizontal sorry your horizontal score line and your two verticals like that you're going to be cutting away that section and that section so the two bottom corners and then you will be left with a bit of a t-shape um, and then what you're going to do is come in and you're going to cut your T-shape uh, at the four centimeter mark. So um, I like to flip it like this. Let me just show you on this one. Um, we're going to take it to four centimeters. That's the edge there. And we're going to cut down like that. And then, oops, I, think I cut a little bit too much off there, but that's okay. Um, anyway, so basically what you're going to do is from this section here, you're wanting to cut that at four centimeters. Uh, the window is not in there yet. So you can see how, yeah, that cut line is at four centimeters. So in fact, you will be putting your score line at the number four. So let me do that again the right way around. There we go, taking it down to there. And then I'm just going to cut this little bit out here. It's really easy to do this on your um, on your trimmer because you can see, and with the new centimeter rule on that side, it's actually really easy to see where you're up to. So again, I'm going to take this up to this score line here, up to the four centimeter mark on my trimmer, and I'm going to trim that down like that. And then I'm going to come here, and I'm going to get rid of this bottom piece like that right so you will end up whoops i'm just going to take this whole piece out here there we go all righty i'm just tidy that bit up i'm trying to do this while i'm a little ways away from it when i'm standing up it's a little bit harder to see okay so you end up with Something that looks like this, okay? So I'm gonna put these dimensions down the bottom of the video so you guys won't have to worry about that. So what we're going to do now is cut this window out of our T-shape. So we, we actually want a window piece um, that is uh, cut from the stitched shapes rectangles and we're wanting to cut it out 
of this section here. So I'm just going to bring in my big shot and you'll see what I mean when I've got it lined up for you. So whatever die cutting machine you're using, you actually want to find the correct size stitched uh, rectangle frame up. You want to center that right in the middle of that section there. And the reason why we've cut the bits off at either side is just so simply that it fits in the big shot going across ways. Um, and also so that it overlaps slightly at the back and I'll show you what I mean once I've cut this out. So here is our window. You just want to peel that fairly gently. You won't need to use the, the rectangle that comes out from the inside of here so you can just put that away somewhere for a rainy day. But here is um, my, my T-shape again and you'll see once once we have this folded up here like that, and these two folded at the back, if I flip it over, you'll see that they just overlap at the back. So that's perfect for our little pocket that we're going to, um, we're going to use. And the two layers of our images actually go either side of this section here. So it does actually create the slider card section separately to the card for us, which is fantastic. So all we're going to have to do is stick it onto the card a little bit later. Alrighty, so here is my, here's my base card. Now you will also need to cut a piece of Whisper White that is six and three quarters by 10 and a quarter centimeters. And you'll need to cut two of those. You'll need to cut one for your stamping and coloring of your flowers so that's one and then the other one is just a plain piece that is going to go inside your card and I'll bring the original in the other plain piece just goes inside your card in this section here for the window to fold over and that's so that you can see the image <clears throat> that's stamped onto the window sheet uh, easily before you're sliding it out so that's that's the card as it appears before you play with it. So you'll need two of those and you will also need um, a piece of the moonlight, misty moonlight and you're going to cut two of these shapes and this is from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. You'll, you'll need one uh, stitched circle shape that's from the Stitched Shapes Framelits dies and you'll need one window sheet. Now I have already pre-stamped and coloured uh, my sunflowers using the Stampin' Blends and I'll list the colours, whoops, I'll list the colours down below uh, for you so that you can see which colours I've used uh, and this is the sheet that will overlay it. So what you'll need to do is stamp and colour these first on the Whisper White, then place your window sheet over the top and the easiest way to get it to line up is to have it lined up over the top before you stamp. So I'm using stays on. So for the for the original uh, piece on Whisper White, I actually use Memento. We don't want to use Memento on the window sheet because Memento is going to rub straight off. The stays on is actually for every surface. It's a solvent based ink uh, and it won't rub off. So I'm going to use that and I'm using the image underneath to help me line up where I'm stamping it on the window sheet and that's placed over the top just in case you can't see that in the video. I'm gonna ink this up really, really well, and I'm gonna go over the top using my eyes, line of sight. And when your stamping stays on, you just need to be a little bit careful that you don't slip with it because it is wet until it dries, and it dries permanent. But until it's dry, it can be a little bit slippery. There you go, there is my, my first stamp and that's the flower bit. Um, I'm actually not going to stamp the twigs. They're just in the underside. Um, sorry, in the under sheet, just there. I'm not going to stamp the twigs over the top. So I'm just going to put that there. And I'm going to grab the little jar and use the stays on again. Ink that up really, really well. 
and then stamp that over the top of where the jar is like that so hopefully that's all in the same spot as the one that's underneath and you'll see you'll be able to line them up pretty well matching up the corners and we're going to staple them together at the top so that they um, exactly mirror each other okay so we're, we're attempting to line those up exactly as we're putting our card together so what you're going to do in order to put them together is use one of your stitched so sweetly shapes I'm going to grab my trimmer again and just use the scoring tool at the top I'm going to place this in the middle like that and run up and down just scoring a, a score line in the middle and then I'm going to um, fold it and to pop this together I'm using my stapler you can use any stapler I have an old Stampin' Up stapler so just make sure your images are lined up as best they can and um, at the top and the bottom uh, you want to make sure that your um, your corners are lined up as best as possible I'm just going to twist this around a little bit okay so I'm going to line this up and you want to put it as as um, far as close to the edge as possible and um, I'm just going to hold it there with one hand and I'm going to grab my stapler and you want to slide your stapler in and staple just catching it on the edge there like that and then the the other one's a little bit easier because you've already lined it up just make sure oops I'd have to do that one again you want to make sure you grab the one behind so just do it again if you need to oops oops I'm gonna go with this other one let me just fold this other one <laughs> and we'll do this one again I don't want to stop my video okay so stamp that I punch that a little bit further down you just want to catch the edge of that piece of whisper white cardstock and keep it all sort of held in place like that and then like that let's just flip it over and see see how I've just caught it there that's about where you want to put it so this becomes the handle which we use to slide the um, the card in and out now we're going to stick um, stick this one together and I actually don't have another yes I do I'm going to stick this on the inside I've got a spare little bit that I used for my stamping previously I'm going to stick this in side the card just using some Tombow glue that's all you need and that provides you with that nice white background uh, that you're going to sit the overlay on the top of and then oh whoops wrong piece <laughs> there we go I'm gonna stick it on this piece that I've already cut the window for there we go stick that on there now that's better all right so now we're going to stick all this together onto the card so i've got i've got my piece of card and i've got um, my bumblebee and my misty moonlight and a piece of that gorgeous paper that comes from the flowers for every season suite and i'm just going to layer those two together and then stick them on the card So this becomes the base for our magic slider card mechanism. There we go. I like that there's a little bit of wriggle room with this. And now I'm going to stick on my, my little um, window here. And we do this all at once. So I'm not going to even attempt to put any glue there because what I want to do, I want to actually leave that free of glue inside. And I want to be able to actually just stick this part onto the card and this will actually hold everything in place once that glue is dry 
And you want to pop this. Make sure your opening is at the top and you've got no glue that's coming out inside. So you want to be able to assemble your card in a second. And again, we're going, I've got a little bit of wriggle room with this, but I'm going to make sure that it ends up in the middle. I just want to press that down and we'll leave that to dry for a little bit. Now I did have a second one of these but um, huh, I'm going to have to uh, not use it on my card because I have used my second one here. But the reason you need two of this shape here is so that you can pop your greeting over the top. So here's my circle and the greeting, I've actually stamped it in Misty Moonlight and I've used a stamp that is from another stamp set. Um, it's from Strong and Beautiful. It's that gorgeous stamp set with the amazing greetings in it really inspirational this one says you are loved completely and i have just added some dimensionals under that and popped it on my card and again when you're um when you're putting your shape on just make sure you've only got your adhesive where it meets with the frame and not over the top and sticking to the window sheet because you want your mechanism to work Okay, so no, no adhesive underneath there directly, just underneath where it links up to the frame. All right, here we go. Let me just see if this is dry. So this is feeling dry. So I've got my, my little window with the triple layers in there. And then all I need to do to actually make my card work is to pop this white piece at the back and the window sheet at the front and then slide it in like that and there you have it so you've got a magic slider card that when you move it out you can see the colors in the frame but when it's down all you can see is the black and white image and um this this actually mystifies quite a lot of people if you're playing with it um you'll have people asking you how do you make that so as i said guys all the details will be underneath uh, all the, the measurements and the colours that I used with my stamp and blends. Um, please feel free to leave a comment and say hi. And don't forget to visit my store uh, if you want any craft supplies, um, any stamping or paper craft supplies. Uh, that is open 24-7 and in, shipped anywhere in Australia uh, when, once you place an order. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.